Hello everyone! In today's video I am showing you the best of the best new Tamita Rossi heels. Tanvi Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm showing you the best of the best new high heels from and also one flat from Tanvita Rossi. And Tanvita Rossi is my favorite shoe brand, so I'm absolutely thrilled about their new releases and I I think I just had to show them and I had to share them with you so that we can all think which ones that we all wanna get because we can't get all like maybe you but I can't get all but yeah I just I just had to share it with you but first let me just quickly introduce me to you Hello, my name is Kira. I make videos about luxury fashion and lifestyle online here and you can just see me as your online fashion magazine in video format. And if you like that and if you do not want to miss another video then please subscribe to my channel down below and it will make me super happy and you would not miss any other videos. So I will just start talking about the top picks from the new Chambitrasi heels and one flat. So the first one, I have my laptop here because I want to talk prices, heights, names, everything. So the first ones are called the Spice Sandals and they are, they are, wow, they're just so, so sexy, they're amazing. And they, they, they look spicy, like <laughs> I know where the name comes from. They come in gold, they are in patent leather, and they're just wow. I, I mean, I when I saw them, I was like, come to me, come to me. And they are only 95 millimeters, which is less than 10 centimeters, which is like insane because usually um, shoes that are sexy are a lot like they have like a lot higher heel and I think it's amazing that they did such an amazing heel that looks super sexy and they did this heel in under 10 centimeters like this is wow and also the price is again high but it's to me also like they never do cheap heels but also I mean the quality of them speaks for itself it's an amazing quality I have like seven Chamitrosi heels and they they all have impeccable quality so the price without talking around it is 830 euros on net porte at the moment so yeah are expensive but very 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 pretty and for me they are the perfect date night heel like I want to get them but I actually also want to get most high heels that they do and then the second one um, is called the Lena and it's a plateau sandal and it's in metallic leather I don't know if they do other leather as well because I only saw it in the metallic leather and they are 655 euros at the moment and I mean they are perfect for the plateau trend because I mean they are not like the huge plateaus like Valentino or Versace do at the moment they are like only 90 centimeters in total so makes the heel itself like the actual heel heel that you feel like very very small they are probably super comfortable and they also do not look as wow over the top as the Versace or as the Valentino one piece so when you want to try if you want to try the plateau trend but you do not want to try the Valentino or the Versace like the wow wow super tall ones then those are like the great like starter like a great starter to try out this um, trend and if you like them maybe you want to go up and buy the other ones as well and if not those are also not too trendy so I think those will be absolutely fine to wear in a few years time when the plateau trend is not there anymore so really like them then the next item the next I thought I had to include a flat because they actually did some amazing flats they come in lavender 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 like purple the lavender color and they come in white and they come in tan and they are called they don't even have a name so okay they don't have a name they are 698 euros so 700 euros and they 
what I don't like about them is that they remind me very strongly like they, they, they do look like um, Bottegas and like Bottega dupes and I actually do not like it when brands copy other brands like I hate it to be honest but well if you do not like Bottega Veneta or if you want the Jamie de Rossi quality but like Bottega Veneta then those ones are actually probably the perfect pick for you and also I actually really like this lavender color it's something different and yeah I really like it then the next ones are some that I like a lot they are super pretty they are called the bijou heel and they are 105 centimeters so 10 and a half centimeters which is like the standard Jambi Jorossi heel size for the higher heels and they have um I actually they do them in a lot of like in nude and black and gold and silver but I actually love them in gold but I won't get them in gold <laughs> and that's only because I have the Chami de Rossi Portofino heels in gold and they do look very similar so they are also a strappy heel their the strap just is not as big and bound like I think the strap kind of looks bouncy like I think if you push in there like it's a little bit bouncy they're just not as bouncy as them. Maybe I want to get them in black because I do not own the Portofino ones in black. But yeah, I actually really like them and I think yes, they are a trend piece. They obviously are. But I also think that even after a little time they still look classic because they are still a strappy heel. Like at the end of the day they are a strappy heel and strappy heels will just never go out of style in my opinion like and i think it's not only my opinion i think like strappy heels are like the heels to get and yeah i really 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 like them and they are 798 99 so 800 euros at the moment and also one good thing is that yeah i said they're a strappy heel but actually they have a zip at the back so they are technically not a strappy heel they have a strap but you don't close it at the strap if that kind of makes sense because they have yeah this zip at the back which makes sense because it probably would ruin this big bulky strap how many times can i say strap it probably would ruin this big bulky strap around your ankle if there would be kind of a closure so the zip at the back makes sense then we go to the last pair of the new in Gianni de Rossi's that I just absolutely, absolutely love. And they are called the Brie Pumps. They are again 10.5 centimeters. And here I have them in white. And they have this very, very pointy heel. There they have the Plexi, which is so typical for Gianni de Rossi because one of their first super popular heels that I remember at least are the Gianni de Rossi Plexi Pumps. I also have them. They are very comfortable actually. And there, th I think this is just the Jamie Rossi Plexi Pump, but without the front part. So it's not a pump, it's a peep toe. And yeah, I think they look very, very pretty. And also that they made this front bit so pointy. I think it looks amazing. It looks stunning. And it's just, it's just a more, it's just a more fun version of a pump. Let's put it that way, because pumps sometimes can look a little bit boring and very corporate but this is just a fun version of a pump which actually is not a pump because it's a peep job but it still kind of looks like a pump I think and also they do, do this Brie style also in a mule version which does not even have a super high heel and they do that in a lot of very very fun colors for example in a very very green like a very very vibrant green not like a dark green or a sage green like in a very vibrant green color kind of looks like the poison green and yeah they do it in this color color and also some other colors so this is also a way to go for if you don't like it when there is something at the back of your heel because sometimes pumps or the back part of a pump can get a lot of you can get you a lot of blisters which is not ideal but yeah for those there are meals out there as well and those are actually all of the new picks and new releases from Gianni De Rossi that I'm lasting over that I'm loving and that I just 
had to share with you all here in a video and let me know which one of those was your favorite also if you liked the video and if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up also leave me a comment down below like i said which one was your favorite and also what other videos do you want me to do just be creative and tell me what you want and i will make my best to do that and then that was it for me from this video again Please subscribe if you want to see the next videos. It makes me so happy. You can't even imagine how happy it makes me if you subscribe. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye bye.